look at this fancy rattan set. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Two chairs. Says Inquire with Management, South Sea Rattan Company. I wonder what they're asking for that. This is a very fun thrift store called Wise Penny in Buffalo, Minnesota. I don't get here very often. I absolutely love this. This is huge. I don't see. Oh, it's just not for sale. Oh, <laughs> that I have nowhere to put it, but isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I wonder how new that is. That is so cute. I wonder who did it. I don't even see a signature on it anywhere either. So, here's the entrance. I hope I can film a little bit, but I don't know if they're playing music in here or not. There's a lot of uh, clothing. You see when you come in to the right, children's and women's clothing over there, which I don't ever get around to because I find it takes me quite a while to just go through all the hard goods. I found some nice things here. I can't believe it. Here's the same bottles that I just brought from my brother's house and they want $8 for them. I know, I got the grape one. Hmm, interesting. Lots and lots of glassware here everywhere you look. They do have, wow, look at this. That's pretty fancy, huh? If you like blue. Oh, wow. And, and what do you call those again? Ewer, E W E R. It's pretty. Could be newer, but maybe not. Well, this glass is tempting. They want $3 for it. That's almost antique shop price. I'm surprised. But it is older. You know, there's a whole set of Pyrex back there. Looks like it's in good condition. I don't know what the prices are. It's way in back. Is that woodland? Wow, I think this is amazing by the Reynolds Company. It's old, you can tell by the back. It's really amazing, 250 only. It's just that I don't do silver in our house. I try not to, chrome and silver things. Just don't wanna do gray, I like gold, but that is really neat. looking for fruity things today, but not new. Yeah, don't want new things. Just looking for vintage. Boy, does that look old. And that one back there. 
gray bar. Hmm. I don't know what that is or how old it is. Amazing. Maybe this is no, because that's Singer. Lots of Barbie doll stuff and other dolls. Look at all these patterns, old patterns. 1965. Skirts. Well, these are all vintage. That's fun to see. Wow, look at this fancy accordion. Noble. World's finest. It's upside down. $200. Look at the case it's in. Good grief. Beautiful keys. Wow. I tried it when I was a kid. It was fun until they said I had to perform up front on stage in a huge crowd. I quit. Not gonna do it. This is always a fun area to look at. They have... Oh, see these. Three dollars. That one's broken. Oops, get it focused there. That one looks re-glued at the base. That's too bad, and I do have two of them. But I don't have this smaller one, but for three dollars, that's broken. And the neck is broken. Good grief. They're not worth three dollars. Oh, see now, this is an old fruit. Um, tiered tray. Very country looking though, to me. They want seven dollars for it. Does have crazing. Does have grazing on it. Kind of fun if you got an old country look. That would be cute. But not my style. Here's some grapes up here. Those aren't bad. And I don't see a price on that side. Not bad. This is a fun window over here because they have one of those vintage adorable plant stands that I would have snatched up, but it's not for sale and I don't blame them. It's because they always have some fun things there and growing, fun things growing on it. This is weird. I just don't know how great that's going to turn out because it's in, in the window. But there is some vintage things here. Maybe even this duck. I don't know, it just seems like it because of those eyes that that could be vintage. And I know this is. Is that Nippon? Japanese? Nippon style? Or company? I really don't know anything about this because I've never collected it. Not into blue. See, that's an older planter. Little train. They used to collect those, the cars and the trains. And that's kind of cute. Where'd it go? Hmm, I just saw a kitty cat. Wasn't well, that weird? I lost the kitty cat. <laughs> that's funny. There we go. Isn't she cute? 
So that's a tiny planter. Wow, that's adorable. Six dollars in Arco. So cute though. And that. And there's the little Siamese cat I spotted. <laughs> it was so small. I thought it was going to be something bigger. Six dollars. Six dollars. It says JSNY Taiwan. Yeah, that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. And there's more vintage stuff over here. All those shelves. Oh, genie bottle up there, but the top's missing. Lots of lanterns and little cars. There's that funny noise again. Lots of nice old books. I know a lot of you like the old books. Look at all the salt and peppers. That's pretty. And they typically have some Avon things around here. I don't know if that is, it just I think so, yeah. Yeah, these are Avon things. Probably more over here, looks like. Nice little set of deer. Wow, five dollars, but it says as is, so I don't know what's broken on that. I think this is Fostoria. My friend Leandra would recognize this. Boy, it needs a good cleaning. I wonder what's broken on it. Oh, I'll show you the inside. That's too bad. I mean, for five bucks, it's... Yeah, that's a pretty fancy piece, so definitely worth it for that price, I think, because no one would see that in the back, especially if you wanted to put potpourri in it. So here's some more vintage things up here. This is very fancy, but I have a feeling it could be flashed, I don't know, flashed on color. Lots of dolls over here, look at that mink, ugh, yuck. Norm's mother had some of them, I don't like them. Look at this old puzzle. Oh, that's cute, for 15. That's kind of fun. Wow. Some old things. Look at this old clown. Poor guy. You could find a googly eye to replace that. Ten dollars. That's pretty cute, isn't it? Her dress is in the way. That's very nice. I don't see a price though. Oh, a dollar fifty. That's just one apple pepper. Oh my, that's noisy. Oh, look at the glove. That's cute. Oh, that's really cute. That's adorable. Hmm. <laughs> Car and a gas pump. 
There is the uh, elevator to go upstairs. Lots more to look at over there. I don't know what all I have time for here. Norm is waiting. This is very pretty, but I don't need any more swans. Of course, 475, made in Taiwan. So it's a fairly lightweight piece. Good price. Oh, this is too cute. They had painted 250. Oh, that's adorable. I should get that. There's so many people that collect strawberry shortcake. Oh my goodness. I love this brass egret down here. $38? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. See now that's that um, brass planter there, whatever large pot is a similar design with the braid on it that I just brought home thrifted and I really like it this is five dollars look at how modern that is it's very crazed I don't think it is new really a modern design wow just not pretty enough to me Here's their clowns. That is adorable. It must be a bank. I think I see the stopper on the bottom. Yep. So that is Japan. Let's see what they're asking for that. Six fifty. They're not super cheap here, but that is adorable. There's always a lot of milk glass here, too. Um, they're not any too cheap on their milk glass, either. I wish they'd have a neat plate there, though. Isn't that sweet? Estee Lauder fine porcelain or vintage porcelain. That is very pretty. Wow. Now that's a cute planter. Very, very cute. What is the price on that? It's really got some calcium deposit on it. $8. I wouldn't say that's exactly a steal, but it is cute. Very nice candle holder. You never know. I don't know if anything that dark or green could have some uh, uranium in it. I didn't bring my little flashlight. Oh, what's this? It's got a fruit decal on it. Fire King, ten dollars. That's as as is.
floor. Yep. Don't close on me. I'm busy filming. Lots of books over here. Lots and lots of books. Which I don't spend time looking at. And all these record albums. Nice. One dollar. Henry Mancini. Nice. I always enjoy looking at blankets and that. Look at this afghan. <gasps> nicely done. Just not my colors. Boy, that is nicely done. I wonder where you find prices. Just to let you know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't see a price. Look at that, here's another one. This is a very fun one and very nicely done. Little cat hair on it. Four dollars, large one. Well, that's cheap. That would uh, show up in a 60s, 70s decor. Fun, huh? There's more. I'm not in the market for afghans. Just look at all this. Tuh. I found some fun things upstairs here. I found like old mirrors for my bathroom. Probably one of the bigger ones. Well, here's my bathroom full of mirrors that I've been working on this uh, whole year. I found a lot of uh, new little mirrors that we've spray painted and I'm just not ready yet to show it anything up close I've got a lot of dusting to do been ignoring some of my dusting but I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of what I'm talking about lights up there of course reflect too much uh, where that orange butterfly is so I was trying not to put a lot of mirrors up there but but I do have a lot of fun things to show you in here but I think that dark green up there mirror is one that I found at this thrift store that's why I wanted to just show you this little clip here all my wild colored mirrors. Norm's been spray painting like crazy for me. So I will do a video. Maybe this fall. Just look at... This is a fun place, but it seems like I'm usually rushed when I'm going through here. Now, this looks very 70s to me. I don't know. It's very heavy, heavy, heavy. Nah, uh, maybe not. I thought it was going to be a full picture, but it looks like a pretty fancy mirror, huh? These mirrors are really heavy. Oh. What is this? That's attached. That's attached to the picture. <laughs> Strange. Let's see these old plaques. Kid plaques. Yeah, those are cute. Darling for a kid's room. Could be uh, Home Co or Burwood. Can you believe this? Look at how chunky those are. Wow. Is that considered country? I don't know if that's crazy Mediterranean. There's a little girl over here making some fun noises. Sorry about that. <laughs> She's having fun with the toys. Those are weird. 
But you'd have fun here if you were looking for cookbooks. It looks like lots and lots of old. Better Homes and Gardens, Pillsbury, Betty Crocker. Lots and lots of uh, old cookbooks. I don't need those either. I was just going through all my recipe stuff just yesterday and I must have thrown out about two-thirds of it because it's so much stuff online now. I'd just rather pull up a recipe online. Oh, don't know what that was. See, now that is a great find. A great big fancy gold shelf. Sorry it's laying on all this other stuff. I don't see a price on it. Looks like it fell off the top there, but it's a good size and similar to a little one that we bought at Up Your Alley. This is twice as big, three times as big. Those are fun to find. I don't know what this is doing in the appliances. It would make a cute little planter, wouldn't it? Wow, what does that say? Hand painted, England. Really hard to read. Now see, this is definitely, I bet, an old McCoy planter. Four dollars. Now see, that's a real deal. But, I'm not really into that color. But that is definitely a nice pot. I love footed pots, but not that color. Here's another fun one, but it looks new. Big old shell. Yeah, so I guess I see why that is in this area, because there is pots up here. That was probably a teapot originally, and the lid's missing, so... They were just using it for a planter, which is a very cute idea. But that's amazing. Little mushrooms on it. Yep. I just bought an olive green one like it, only smaller. Well, so, I'm back in the elevator again. Going down. Well, I hope you enjoyed that upstairs. There's a lot of fun things in this in this store, but um, they're a little higher priced, but that's okay. They do have uh, jewelry to look at. I always check it out. This is a vintage belt, tortoise and gold, for $3.99. That's quite fun. I do collect old belts, but not buying any more. 